Katanaoan, officially the municipality of Katanaoan, Tagalog, Bayan ng Katanaoan, is a first-class municipality in the province of Quezon, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 71,073 people. Geography The landscape of Katanaoan is described as hilly, rolling and mountainous with isolated flat lands. The existing rivers and creeks serve as potential for effective drainage, more especially the Katanaoan River. Katanuan has slopes ranging from 0 to 13% to 15% and above. The most elevated portion is at Barangay San Jose which has slope of 60% and above. Susceptibility to erosion is directly proportional to the slope percentage and degree of susceptibility. Development Katanaoan being a first-class municipality, boast of several commercial establishments including several inns, restaurants and a major fast food chain. One of the major agricultural trades by the populace is copra buying and selling. While infrastructure is sufficient, the public cemetery appears to be already at full capacity. Primary and secondary level education is being catered by one public school and one private school. Tertiary education is being catered by the two colleges. Barangays Katanaoan is politically subdivided into 46 barangays. History The existence of Katanaoan as a pueblo town was first recorded in the map of Father Pedro Murillo dated on 1734. The petitio dated 1685 of Bishop Andres González of Nueva Caceres, now known as Naga City in the Bicol region, requesting the King of Spain to have Masbater and the Pueblo of Katanaoan assigned to recollect order was reflective of the early creation of Katanaoan. The recognized foundation date of the municipality was January 20, 1686. In the late 18th and 19th century, there were frequent moral raids. These occurrences prompted the people to construct two small stone forts or watch towers mounted with artillery. Santa Maria Watch Tower was located at Lot 21 PSC 2 near the present wharf is located. Castillo Watch Tower stood at the intersection of present Rizal and Boncan Street. Hence, the name Katanaoan was so derived. Demographics Local government Mayor, Nene Orfanel Vice Mayor, Juaning Casal Councilors Antonio Paterno, Tony Avila, Municipal Councilo John, Sir John de Imus, Municipal Councilor Rodolfo, Rudy A. Orfanel, Municipal Councilor Ederlinda. Ether. Senior. Ramos, Municipal Councilor. Rolando. Boy. Custodio, Municipal Councilor. Michael Palermo, Municipal Councilor. Euphrosina. Baby. Dela Cruz, PPLB President, Municipal Councilor. Security. Katanaoan is one of the towns in Bondic Peninsula where members of the NPA are active. Last February 21, 2017, an attempt to set a payloader on fire at a batching plant in Barangay Kutkatan was thwarted thanks to the immediate response of the local police, the army and firemen. Last June 18, 2017, two soldiers were hurt and two generator sets were burned at an encounter with the rebels at a Globe Cell site tower in Barangay Ajos. Town Fiesta December 8 Immaculate Conception Church Town Fiesta Bowling Bowling Festival Bowling Bowling is an old age practice particular to Katanaoanans, which is celebrated annually starting on the Sunday and ends on Tuesday preceding Ash Wednesday and signals the start of the Lenten season. Participants roam around the town garbed in any costume they may fancy. Most of them wear colorful clown-like clothes while others imitate anybody whom they despise and make fun of them. 
it is the Pinoy version of carnival. No one can tell exactly when and how this practice started, not even the oldest resident of this town located at the heart of Bondic Peninsula. Senior women wearing brightly colored dresses and hats with flowers sing and dance from one house to another to solicit cash donations, half of which is given to the local parish church for its expenses during the Lenten season activities and the other half for their own group's civic projects. Bowling bowling comes from the Visayan word bowling, which means dirt. This reminds us that we are sinners and that we need to repent, do some spiritual cleansing and get ourselves ready for the Lenten season. In earlier times, Katanaoanans had a grandiose merry-making during the bowling bowling as, starting the following day, which is Ash Wednesday, they will keep silent suspending all merry-makings until the Black Saturday in reverence to the Lenten season. Some men skimpily clad in their undergarments put on mud or grease with charcoal all over their bodies and roam around the town trying to scare young women and children for fun. Katanaoan Excavations Katanaoan, Quezon is a coastal third-class municipality of the western Bondic Peninsula, with the municipality of Mulané on its south and southeast. It has coordinates of 13 degrees 35. 30 inches n, 122 degrees 19. 30 inches e, and its town has a total land area of 266 kilometers. Katanaoan has a population of 57, 736 people in 11, 283 households, 2000 Philippine Census. The town proper faces Mompog Pass and Marinduque Island, and borders the municipality of General Luna in the northwest, the municipality of Buenavista in the northeast. The archaeological potential of Katanaoan was brought to light in 2006 when Mr. Deo Cuerdo, citizen and cultural advocate of the municipality, reported to the University of the Philippines Archaeological Studies Program up -ASP, and the National Museum, cases of accidentally uncovered archaeological materials due to development projects, earthmoving activities, and even illegal diggings. The reported archaeological materials were mostly of jar burials. Up ASP conducted a preliminary archaeological survey in 2008, and discovered three sites. Since then, there have been a total of eight excavation seasons in 2008, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016 and most recently in January 2017. Sites in the Katanaoan excavations, there were four main sites, Napa Site Locality 1, Napa Site Locality 4, Campo Site, and Comizo Site. Each contain their own distinct artifacts and discoveries. Napa Site Locality 1 Napa site code IV -Q5, was the primary excavation site, containing multiple trenches along with three main assemblages, SM1, SM2, and SM3, or stone markers. This is where most jar burials and tools were found. Napa site locality 4 Locality 4 is a second location close to Locality 1 with four active trenches containing multiple jar burials in very tight clusters, along with coral markers and lids scattered throughout. Campo Santo Site This location, initially a 20th century cemetery, was excavated with the hopes of discovering similar human remains, but unidentified markers were discovered, which purpose has not yet been determined. Comizo property sites. This survey site was one of the earliest to be excavated and surveyed. Located in Brigi, Matangdang Sabang Kanluran, this site was heavily stirred up and roiled by quarrying sand. It was later discovered that this was once also another burial site. Its similarities though to other burial sites remain unclear. Jar burials. Katanaoan, Quezon has been known for the numerous jar burials that have been recovered there. Even before the recent excavations in the site, locals have already reported that some jar burials in the site were uncovered through development projects, and that they were able to dig up a series of jar burials with human remains. As the site is very archaeologically rich, the Archaeological Studies Program of the University of the Philippines, Diliman and the Australian National University have been conducting research and excavations in Katanaoan through the Katanaoan Archaeological and Heritage Project since 2008. 
The Napa site in Barangay Tuhian, Katanaoan is a very significant place for archaeological research. Most of the jar burials found in Katanaoan were recovered from this site. In the 2008 excavation, a lot of jar burials with their human remains were found in locality 1, Napa site, specifically in trenches 4 and 6. The jars found were mostly earthenware. Different types of coral slabs and rocks served as jar covers. The jars were used for primary and secondary burials. Paz, et al., 2008, inferred that people went back to uncover the jars, take out the human remains in the jars, and when events dictated, a new body was placed in the old jar. Some excavated jars were also used for child burials. Aside from human bones, different colored glass beads, gastropods and fragments of metal were found inside the jars. Boat-shaped burial markers were also found in the site. In 2010, more jar burials have been recovered as additional trenches were opened. One very distinct jar was the jar found in Trench 13 because of its unique features. It was the only jar from the site which had earthenware as its cover Paz, et al., 2010. It was oval-shaped and neonate remains were found inside it. Paz, et al., 2010, stated that as of 2010, there are 28 definite jar burials for the Napa site and they are at least a thousand years old. Comizo property site is another jar burial site in Katanaoan. It is less than 10 kilometers away from the Napa site. Burial jar sherds and fragments of human remains were found on the surface of the site Paz, et al., 2010. The jar burials were found under shell middens. However, unlike the jars in Napa site, there were no Chinese glass beads found in the Comizo site. This may mean that the Comizo site is older than the Napa site Paz, et al., 2011. Artifacts Various artifacts have been excavated from Katanaoan sites. These artifacts consists of burial jars, earthenware sherds, skeletal remains, and shell middens. In 2006, a sand quarry accidentally uncovered at least five jar burials containing human skeletal remains in Kanlagki, Brigi. Matangdang Sabong Kanluran. At least three sandpits were left, partially open, with the backfill containing earthenware sherds and skeletal fragments, mostly long bone. During the 2008 excavation a shell midden was exposed. The area where local inhabitants dug up burial jars with human remains was abundant in limestone slab fragments, earthenware sherds, and human skeletal fragments. Below the discovered shell midden were a few shells and pottery. Even below that, two small, well-fired reddish earthenware pot sherds were found. Some glass beads were also found. A child, neonate burial was found inside a small earthenware pot 40 cm in diameter, with yellow glass beads buried along with it. Another burial, a female, from studying the pelvic bone, was discovered, and this had sherds from a small pot and a cylindrical artifact. Heritage work to facilitate several forms of public archaeology and heritage work in the duration of the field season in the Napa site, crew members were oriented to always explain the significance of the archaeological project, at a community level and at larger scale of Philippine culture, to the community members and walk-in groups observing the excavation. The team also held day trips for students coming from different schools like San Isidro National High School, Katanaoan, Tayuman National High School, Bustak National High School and Osti College, mostly coming from near cities and or provinces. In addition, they updated the tarpaulin signage at the locality 1 site, Napa site, that explains the study of archaeology and highlights of the findings so far. The team also actively participated in the fiesta celebrations of Tuhian. As part of the celebration, the team is given a chance to explain to the public community what the project is all about. At the end of the season, the team mounted and left three-panel exhibit of the results from the first season of Excavation 2008. The exhibit explained what archaeology is, the findings and result of the project, and its significance to Philippine history and heritage. They made the exhibit movable so they can move it due to events and gatherings in the barangay. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System